Hey guys, welcome Game Bad today, bringing our video, and today we are going to be covering our weapon conversion series, the AK, the Zeneco AK-74M, and we'll be converting the AK-105 into the Zeneco AK-74M, M standing for modernized. So what we'll do is I'll show you guys how to build the weapon, we'll jump into the firing range, take a look at how it handles, look at the recoil control, and then jump in game and see how it handles against bots while I'll run through some of the history of the weapon and, and the background of this particular weapon and the attachments. So let's go ahead and we'll back out and take a look at the weapon and build it. So backing out, here's our final design of the Zeneco AK-74M. AK and if I back out here, we'll go back to our building of the class. Go to the weapons here. What we're going to want to do is at base, we're going to select the cast off 545. Now, this is the AK 105 here in the game. So, we'll go ahead and select this for in 545 by 39 millimeter. And now, if we jump into the gunsmith for this particular weapon, there's a little bit of a bug here, but we can we can build it nonetheless. Um, for whatever reason, it keeps showing my AKs backwards in the gunsmith. So, let's just go ahead back into a private match. If it does do that, it's okay, we'll rotate it at the end and uh, show it off regardless. So we'll go ahead to the weapon here. So like I said, you're gonna start with the AK, or the cast off 545, the AK 105. Now jump it in here. First off, the first attachment you're going to want, you can see here the barrel is uh, the 90 degree gas block there we'll look at. So what we're gonna wanna do at base, the 105, the AK 105 um, has a 12.4 inch barrel and you can see there with the shorter barrel. So we're gonna wanna change the barrel length and we're going to want to up that to 406 millimeters. Now you have two or three 406 millimeter uh, options here, all for different conversions, which we'll cover. But here we're going to be covering the Zeneco, the Zeneco handguard here for the AK-74M. So you're going to want the IGK-30 406 millimeter barrel option here. This is going to give you the pros being bullet velocity, recoil control, damage at range and hip fire accuracy with the cons being aim down sight speed movement speed and hip uh hip recoil control being another con there so we'll go ahead and select that now for the laser option we can skip that for the optic we're going to go ahead and go with the standard eotech here typically on these builds nowadays you don't see russian optics you see a lot of uh more like more uh cloned eotechs coming out of russia so we'll run the cz lone wolf optic that's going to give us the precision sight picture with the cons being the aim down sight speed and the aim walking movement speed. So we'll select that. Now the stock option here, we're going to want the Markiev R7 stock. This is going to give us the pros of the crouch movement speed, the sprint speed, aim down sight speed, and the uh, recoil control. Now in real life, this is going to be a Zeneco buttstock. This is the Zeneco PT1 buttstock. And you can see there, it does extend out backwards. So this is the Zeneco PT1 stock. And you can see there it is extended outwards in the back. So we'll go ahead. The only con here is that it is recoil control uh, is, a, is a con, which kind of hurts this weapon because it really does need, if you're going to try and stretch this out, you do need the most recoil control you can. So I would recommend the TAC, uh, FT TAC Elite stock is a better option. You do get the recoil control there as a pro. So we'll go ahead and select the PT1. And now if we go ahead and we're going to skip over to the underbarrel attachments, we're going to want the uh, the Megpol foregrip. Now, there's no Zeneco foregrips here. I would really want something like a, uh, I believe it's a Zeneco RK1, I believe is uh, the foregrip names. But we don't have any Zeneco foregrips here yet for the underbarrel. This would be the closest one would be the Bruin Tilt. But um, the Megpole one looks completely fine also. Some of the uh, Russian Alpha Spetsaz guys were running things like this as well. So OP X9 foregrip, this is going to be that Megpole. Uh, foregrip give you the hip fire accuracy aim walking steadiness recoil st steadiness and hip fire control the cons being hip walking speed and aim down sight speed so we'll go ahead and select that and now for the muzzle we're going to want the uh instead of the base this is obviously the base muzzle so you can definitely use this attachment elsewhere but to go in tune with the uh, zeneco style weapons that we see the elite russian alpha group guys using we're going to want that bulgarian crank flash suppressor here so this is going to be the vlk uh coloss flash suppressor so this is going to give you muzzle flash concealment recoil steadiness and recoil stabilization with the cons being aim down sight speed and aiming stability so we'll go ahead and select that and now we'll go into the camo option here because we do, do need a nice camo here on the ak-74m 
So we'll go ahead and select the scales option here. This is going to look really nice on this weapon. Uh, kind of an Alpha AK inspired build here. Unfortunately, we just don't have the right barrel length with the right handguard to make a true Alpha AK. But you could technically call this an Alpha AK just as an AK-74M. So let's go ahead now and we will, unfortunately, it's a little backwards here in the gunsmith, which is definitely not ideal for this video. Let me see if I can fix it here. I don't know why this bug seems to only be happening with, uh, there we go, with this particular weapon. You can see my PlayStation is still, for some reason, freaking out the audio skips and stuff in the background. So I, I do apologize for that, guys. Uh, I'm probably gonna, going to need to be getting a new PlayStation and setting this one in to get fixed. Uh, it seems to be happening at the most, the worst times possible. But here is the final design for the Zeneco AK-74M. And now the one thing here, with that 406 millimeter barrel on there, we do have the Zeneco attachments, that being... For the handguard so this seems to be most most uh i guess replicating it's not exact for the handguard but it is supposed to be it looks like modeled after a a, a, a zenit b30 handguard which is that lower portion of the handguard where the grip is attached to and then the upper portion would be a b31s upper rail um this is going to be a slightly extended version of that attachment though and you can see there that's the zenico rail and then the other thing here that we have the zenico pt uh, one buttstock and the one thing here we have a rail dust cover so you can see the rail dust cover where the optic is attached instead of um, being attached to that dovetail mount there we have the optic attached to the side or uh, usually in especially in model warfare 2019 it was attached to this side dovetail mount there above the trigger guard um, here we have a rail dust cover finally so i can't really see when you zoom in it gets all blurry unfortunately but it looks to be it could be a texas weapon system rail dust cover could be a variety of things um but the one thing here obviously we have a stamped ak so you can tell stamped versus milled here which is really nice to see also and overall it looks really really cool another one thing here um with the ak's and the uh, as we go ahead we'll back out and we'll jump into the shooting range so you guys can see how it's going to handle but the one thing with these ak's especially here we do have 90 degree gas blocks for the uh, 100 series and here with the ak 74 m at least it appears to be like that with the even with the zenit go rails there it does appear to be uh, a 90 degree gas block which is which is good to see we were missing we were missing all of that in modern war for 2019 so it's really good to see so if we go ahead and jump into the firing range here we'll take a look at our weapon so you can see our zenico ak 74 m Looking really nice here. Let's go ahead and let it rip a little bit. So, really nice looking weapon. Unfortunately, I don't think... Someone pointed out in yesterday's videos, these dummies don't really have the right damage models, apparently. Looks like a four-shot kill. If we mount... Two, one, two, three, four, five... Five at range, so it's a really, really nice weapon and pretty accurate. This is our Zenit AK-74M. So let's go ahead and we'll jump in game and take a look at the recoil control before we jump in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game, let's go ahead and check out the recoil here on the AK Zenico AK-74M. So go ahead and line up these shots here. I'm going to not do anything with the recoil. We'll just let it rip. So you can see it's going to go up and to the right, and now we'll try and control it. Pulled down a little bit too much there, but you can see, do it once more. So there's our recoil control. It's going to go up to the right a little bit, then it's going to stabilize, and then you can easily correct it pretty well and keep those shots pretty much all center mass. So let's try it again here. So that's the recoil here on the Zedico AK-74M. Now let's go ahead and back out and we'll go ahead and jump in game against bots and see how this handles while we go through some information regarding the weapon. So jump into the gameplay here for the AK-74M, the Zedico AK-74M. So first off, the AK-74 itself was developed and put into service in 1974, given the name of the Maj Kalashnikov 74 the 74 standing for 1974 the year it was put into service so this actually replaced the standard ak's at the time which were the akms which were chambered in uh 762 by 39 millimeters so this was a new rifle cartridge which fired the 545 by 39 millimeter very comparable to the 
uh, American NATO standard, the 5x6x45 millimeter. Um, even some back and forth, which is better, but they're both very, very similar. So, uh, 1974, this was developed by Mikhail Kalashnikov to fire a 5.5 by 39 millimeter. Now, this was a deadlier round, nicknamed, I believe, the poisoned bullet, because basically similar to 5.56 rounds is what happens when these hit you is it will essentially tumble and break apart inside the body, causing uh, a lot of damage internally versus a larger caliber like we see with the 7.62x39 from the AKMs. Those typically are a heavier, bigger, heavier round that are going to go right through you clean and not cause as much internal damage. Uh, same with something like the 7.62x51mm NATO, although that's a bigger round. But the, the thing about the 5.45x39 and the 5.56x45mm is that when they do hit and enter the body, they tumble and break apart and cause massive damage internally. So the AK-74... And the 74M, uh, the AK-74 put into service in 1974. The 74M was put into service in 1991 and developed by the Russian military um, to replace the 74. In 1991, when that was developed or put into service, it it was the new standard. Uh, the AK-74, 74Ms have seen a lot of combat. The first combat for the AK-74 was the Soviet-Afghan War in the 1970s. If we jump down to some more history about the weapon here. Um, Number of units built was over 5 million. Uh, a lot of variants that come out of this, which we'll get into. The mass of the AK-74M is going to be 3.4 kilograms versus the AK-74 was 3.07 kilograms. So it was a little bit heavier coming in at 7.5 pounds versus 6.8 pounds with the 74M, but there were some additions to it. Now, the 74M, the M is meaning modernized, so it's a bit more modernized version of the AK-74, which gave it uh, polymer Typically, mainly, they replaced the wooden parts, specifically the buttstock, the handguard, the pistol grip, with uh, glass-filled polymer. So, the buttstock retained the same shape, but it's just typically black polymer or colored polymer. We see that with the, the standard handguard, as well as the buttstock and the pistol grip on the AK-74M. The other addition with the AK-74M was it did add that, uh, that it, an improved version of the AK-74N. Uh, that dovetail mount on the right hand side or the left hand side excuse me to mount rails so it added that but here in game obviously we do have a, a uh, different dust cover which has that uh, rail dust cover on top now the uh, length of the AK-74 M here is going to be with the stock folded so that was another feature with the 74 M is that it did add a folding stock versus um, with the 74 it was a fixed wooden stock so the 74 M um, with the stock folded is going to be 27.6 inches um, and with it extended it would be 37.1 inches and again that also that's that's taking into account just the the base buttstock for the AK-74M uh, in this case we have a PT-1 is that a good buttstock so that could be adjustable so it would it would uh, vary on based on what setting it was on the barrel length overall for the AK-74 and the 74M is 415 millimeters or 16.3 inches here in game, we have 406 millimeters. So that's going to come in right at 16 inches. So a little bit off there, but relatively the same. The width of the weapon here, the AK-74M, is going to be uh, 70 millimeters or 2.8 inches. And the height of the weapon is going to be 195 millimeters or 7.7 inches. Firing that 5.5 by 39 millimeter weapon. It is a gas-operated rotating bolt with a rate of fire of 600 to 650 rounds per minute and a muzzle velocity of 880 to 900 meters per second or 2887 uh, to 2953 feet per second the effective range for the AK 74m is uh, going to be around 500 meters or 550 yards and uh, if you're looking at different targets it could stretch it out to 800 meters or 870 yards the maximum range, again, stretched it out further outside of target. So the max range you can shoot is going to be 3,440 yards. But obviously, that's not quite practical for, for any type of engagement. The feed system is going to be that 30-round AK-74 uh, magazine. And typically, with the 74s, we did see polymer or bakelite magazines. There's also the ability for the 45-round and a 60-round casket mag, which we do have in-game. For the AK uh, series of weapons here, for the 545 versions, that being the uh, AK-105, or in this case, the build we have here with the 74M. 
Um, and I believe there's a 60 round available even for the AKS 74U as well. Now, obviously, we do have that top mounted Picatinny rail on this, so it is um, going to be be a uh, different type of uh, optics can go on there instead of it's obviously here they're not mounted on that left hand dovetail mount so they're mounted on the top picatinny with any optics selected so with that selected you can obviously put anything on that top mount uh, the only issue is in in real life is retaining zero because uh, that dust cover the way the with the, the way the AK is designed just always retaining zero has been an issue but apparently uh, there's some things like Texas Weapon Systems and other ones that do do well enough to retain zero for the uses of, of the Russian Special Forces, like the Alpha Guru, Spetsnaz, things like that. So, this is the AK-74M. Let me know what you guys think of the Zeneco AK-74M. Obviously, we have that full-length uh, Picatinny Zeneco rail there with that uh, very, very nice-looking um, handguard on there being the uh the zenit b30 handguard with the b31 upper again it's not exact this one's a little bit more extended it looks like um could be they usually have like sport editions and things like that from zenico but this one's a little bit more extended um almost out to the actual muzzle but you do see similar ones out there as well but this is a really nice one it's not exactly the same i think they obviously make a lot of changes in game to avoid any copyright issues but this is the Zenico AK 74M. Let me know your thoughts down below this. I'm really happy we finally get a Zenico style AK, modernized AK, here in the game. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, definitely helps support smaller channels like myself, especially here as we build into um, Modern Warfare 2 and have a lot of content here coming for different weapon conversions and things like that. So let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming. Out.